honored to be in the presence of Denise Williams, such a force in the industry. Looking back at your own legacy, Oscars, Grammys, what have you not been nominated for is the question. Well, I haven't got my Emmy yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I think those are the least of our worries with you right yes, now. Yes. How are you feeling today? Well, I feel good. I feel very sad, of course. Um, just trying to find a sense of being able to close the door. And tonight, I think, is going to help in the celebrating Michael's life and his legacy and his humanitarian efforts. We're just here to say we love you and just to move forward. Absolutely, and you were a huge part of his life and legacy as well from the very beginning. And of course, you know, knowing Diana Ross, who pretty much raised him, how are you feeling personally of, with the loss of not only a musician but a friend? Well, I think that that's what hurts the most for me because I, uh, Michael and I were both uh, born and raised in Gary, Indiana. Well, he wasn't raised there, but we're from Gary, Indiana. I've known the family for a very, very long time. I uh, first saw Michael when he was three years old, saw him perform when he was just about five. And uh, I knew even then that he was going to do incredible, remarkable things. So it's, it's hard because as someone from the same hometown and seeing him as children and growing up and, and watching him grow in to this incredible king of pop of the world, um, it was an incredible journey, but it's been a painful one at the same time. But I'm here because of the love I have for him and how he touched the world and how he touched the hearts of millions and billions of people worldwide. And that's the part that we celebrate tonight. Absolutely, and thank you for being a part of that and helping bring out you know, a musician and a person that we all want to celebrate tonight. What can we look forward to coming out from yourself? Well, I'm just completing a children's uh, lullaby project along with a children's accompanying book. And I've developed a line of baby onesies, so. We're about to come out with our baby onesies, and I'm very excited about that. Well, I, that is so cute. I'm excited about that, too. Baby onesies. Yes. <laughs> the company's called Pink and Blue, and uh, we're very excited about that. Well, thank you, and we look forward to seeing that as well. And congratulations to you and everything that you have going on. A truly talented woman. This is the 2009 BET Awards, y'all. And today's event is sponsored by Monster Cable, bringing you the best in HDMI and home audio. These are, of course, the Beats by Dre headsets, the best in the business. Keep it locked right here, and make sure you check out monstercable.com.